Well, here we are back at Woodburn again. Partner today is Ian. Uh, a different day from last week. It's uh, there's a fish just moved. It's uh, we've got a ripple this time. Last week we were chasing the ripple. Just seen a fish move. That's the first one we've seen moving. Uh, I've got a clink hammer on the top dropper and on the tail a grunter. So we'll get started and see what the day brings. Ian's got a Cape McClam and a Snatcher. Uh, both of us fishing floating lines. So we'll see how it goes. <coughs> Last week, uh, oh, there's a fish. Oh, big. See that? There's a fish. Good fish. I was just about to say, uh, last week uh, they wanted the, the small fly. Uh, that first fish was on the grunter, albeit it's not a, a big grunt, it's not, it's not a 12, but uh, that was a good fish. I turned it there a minute ago, but it uh, didn't connect. That was a good fish that came at me there, did you see it? Uh, Flashy eyes to the fly, but never felt a thing. I don't know whether it missed it or I, I missed it, but I, I don't know. There's a big splashy eyes at it. Maybe it was just trying to drown it, but it never came back again. To the first fish at Woodburn. I think it took the gun up. I think it did. I don't know yet. I think it was. Yeah, it is. So one with a red tag in. Not a big fish. But it's a fish. And it's the first one. to be hooked in the scissors, which is weak. 
when you want it to be good Two and a half, something like that. Here's a wait. And some another fish on the on the grunter. Two and a half yards, mate. Tail flight. Fell off. Fell off. Oh dear. Mm. Looks okay. Just fell off. I'm still there. Uh, very little surface activity, in fact, next to nothing. Very odd fish turning. But, uh, I'm not too keen. There's one there, in front of me. But, uh, I'm not too keen to come up with, as I said already, very little for them to come up to. Uh, unlike last week when it was calm, there seemed to be a lot of small fly leaf about and the water was alive with fish rising but not today Just splashed at me, didn't take. out with this gusting wind just can't get the line to go out straight the wind just blows it round to your right so hey 
and she kind of got a very long line out. Gusty day of about 25 mile an hour plus the gusts. Last week it was flat calm. <laughs> it goes from one extreme to another. Just got to try and kind of time it in between the gusts to get a half decent line out. wind has now changed direction a bit. It's uh, coming at an angle towards me, which uh, makes life a bit difficult. Uh, puts this lovely big belly in the line. Um, I've rose two fish since the wind direction changed. Missed both of them. Uh, not much moving at all. Uh, half brought up, that's four I think of those, including the one I got. Uh, but uh, a different day altogether from last week. Still, I mean this is the last day of April. Still cool for the time of year. Still that nip in the air yet. Tomorrow, first of May, my god. When is it ever going to pick up? <clears throat> I'm going to take the, the small clink hammer off. Uh, I think in the the bigger wave might be better with a slightly bigger fly on, we'll see, but uh, we'll try it. Put another, I'm going to put another grunter on, uh, on the top dropper. Well, I'm just coming round the top of the loch here. Uh, the wind is coming right out the top end here. It's making life rather difficult for, for casting. So I'll come round here and see if I can get the wind behind me and make life a wee bit easier. I'm getting sore trying to cast against that wind because it's swirling all over the place. So we'll see what happens when we come round here. Well, we've moved over the other side of the loch uh, because of the wind, uh, but uh, still struggling. Uh, I think I've rose about six, but they're not, they're not committing, they're just sort of swirling and splashing at the fly. So, keep going and see what happens. It's, uh, not much moving at all, fighting. You see, the wind direction changed, and there's a fish there, for goodness, and I'm just saying I haven't seen anything moving. Uh, that's the first one I've seen for ages. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We're still fishing uh, two grunters. That's the first fish I've seen for about three quarters of an hour.
you, you, you were struggling, really struggling to, to get, that was a fish just swirled at me. Uh, really struggling to get a line out over there. It was difficult to get the flies to, to turn over. In fact, difficult to even get the line out because the wind was quite strong. But that's a fish just swirled there again. Same as what they were doing over there. Refusing the fly. Bit easier to get the line out here right enough, but uh, I'm not a fan of this high bank. Struggle uh, if you get a fish on, uh, struggle to land it. My lad, do <laughs> because of my back problem. Well, I really wasn't wanting to do this, but just the fish are just not wanting to the fish feed off the surface today. So put on a wee blob and on the tail is the purple rain zonka I've changed my line to a Cortland blue we'll go down and see if it changes our fortune I'm starting to get desperate now I've put on a sort of uh, dark Claret buzzer and uh, below it I've got um, hmm, don't know what kind of colour you would say the body is or that dark anyway uh, with a red head a buzzer again and I've put uh, an indicator on as I say we're getting desperate tried everything and getting no response whatsoever. Ian into a fish. Giving him, taking a lot of line off him. Give Ian a hand here. Big fish. Is it off? Oh. Jeez, oh. That lines. Into a second fish. Uh, off this high bank here it's taking the grunter I know that for a fact because I've got two on Top dropper, it's taken. Yeah, it is. Just where it gets. 
it's dangerous going down this high bank Well, this is us after lunch. Uh, conditions are just exactly the same. Uh, the breeze is still kind of coming into us. We've come back over the other side because personally I don't like that high bank. I find it a wee bit dangerous uh, when you've got a fish on to get down and net it without falling in. It's quite a slippy, steep banking and this doesn't suit me. So, uh, come back over, uh, still get two gunters on, the breeze is still coming in the same direction, it's coming sort of very slightly southeasterly, uh, very little moving, very very little surface activity at all, but uh, I'll keep uh, plugging away and see if we can get something to come up if it would just it's not don't get me wrong it's not cold but if it would just warm up a wee wee bit and maybe something hatching out because uh, that's how you're not seeing any fish there's just nothing for them to come up to so we'll keep persevering and see how it goes well you can't say they've not tried everything i've got two black hoppers on the I'll try that it's been a day that you just cannot get them to move to anything at all oh, what happened there into a fish on the black hopper uh, take the tail fly I'm just trying to get the line back in the reel Got to stand up. <coughs> Looks like a small blue.
not easy off this high bank. He's away. Good, well done. <coughs> uh, we're into the last half hour now. Been a very, very hard day. Uh, most people struggling. I think Ian's only had one. Uh, I've had three. Another angler there we spoke to had a couple. It's been hard, hard going. Uh, last week when I was up, uh, if you watched the video, uh, there was loads of fish rising, and today there's hardly a fish moving. So, just one week to the other, conditions are different and whatever, but I don't know, they just don't seem to want to come up today. And uh, I've tried various things all day, and uh, the three fish I've had, I've had them in dries right enough. But, uh, Aye, hard going, to say the least. I can't see these hoppers. Check they're floating. Yes, they are. There's just been no fly life in the water at all today and it's not, it's no, don't get me wrong, it's no warm but it's, 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 it's I don't know what the temps will be, 14, something like that, you'd think you would see some fly life about, absolutely nothing. And hence you don't see any fish feed. <laughs> There'll be the odd insect that you kind of see that that's what these fish, these odd fish are coming up for, but uh, as far as an actual rise coming on, it's just not happened. And the breeze has got back up again. Mm 
I hate when I kind of see my flies and I just can't see them. No, small right enough. Oh, there's a fish there. Floating fine. There's another one. Ah. Well, that's us. I think this is a better fish, Ian. I haven't seen it yet.
So in the tail flight, Did you? Sorry? Oh dear. Is that a big fish? This is not as big as I thought it was. It's just very, very powerful. Yeah. Can he get this thing's head up at all? It's not as big as I thought it was, but it's, by God, it's powerful. Get you in it, I think you. Steps here if you want to. It's not so easy in it off this high bank. It's getting us some battle, this. It's not that big. Ah, it's not a bad fish, but it's. Not as big as I thought it was when I first hooked it. Oh, jeez, oh. I don't care about five in that here, eh? Then I'll put the scales on it, Ian. I'll leave my rod up there. I'll we'll put the scales on it. Let the net go. What's that reading? No. 
Let me see. 3.82 Ah, that's the kilograms. Hold on, hold on a minute. Right, that's pounds and ounces now. It's eight pounds seven. That's weird. Try that now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it now. So eight pounds seven ounces is it? So if you take one pound four half of that, seven, seven, seven pounds, uh -huh. so it's seven pounds odds. Yep, good. And we should play in the black hole. See, that's it. See, that's it there. Eight, seven. Mm. Eight, seven. That was three, eight, two or something. Yep. That's a nice finish to the day. Last fish I had there was just over seven pounds. So that's us until next time. Tight lines.